complete. Intermezzo, 1938. So that's oh, damn, how a regular Palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, I wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there that says Morello made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Huh. Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Fair play, 1932. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Yeah. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the Junkers to Gow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. Mm. You'll go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? Soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? All right. You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. Oh. Race day approaches. The grandest day in the sporting calendar is almost upon us. Record cr crowds are expected to descend upon the Lost Heaven Autodrome? Autodrome this weekend as the city 
Basking glorious sunshine, famous German driver Martin Lichtenberg is taking some time away from the International Series to challenge Lost Heaven's hero Mikey Dunn, and racing fans are on tenter hooks. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Christ. That was some night. For you, maybe. <laughs> but those broads, not so much. Yo. Behind the bar. Hey, hey. Buona sera, Tommy. Hmm. So that's a five, Luigi. a six, uh, along with what's already behind the bar. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? Right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, little Lucas Berton. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. And then I take the car straight back and Bobby <laughs> can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. <laughs> he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your m m motor safe where no one can take him, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. Huh. Get a car in the garage. Taxi A Smith. Ooh, there. Samson. Oh, that one. Hey, bike. Alright. I'm thinking. I think we gotta do this fast, so. Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. Hmm. Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick. Ooh, what's wrong with you? Oh, damn. My bad. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. <sighs> Things I've seen. Huh. Okay, this is it. Alright, where are we going, bro? Garage number four. She is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this <laughs> on the road, cops are gonna ask questions. 
catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, <laughs> too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. <laughs> oh, damn, man. All right, three minutes, 25 seconds. Cool. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Lucas. Hello, you. Back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Ah! 
Ah, the freaking steering is messed up. Oh god. Thank Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get <laughs> out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on it. Cause I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah, sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom. You got the moment. Oh. Cheer, Freak. We've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Sent him to the hospital. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Oh, Wait, damn. What? Frank, Tom. I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Wow. Huh. <laughs> Just like, all right, I guess. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh... Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join <laughs> me in wishing him good luck. Hmm? They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. They're off! Right. Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with his car. Lichtenberg is out. The favorite is out. Wow. Who's going to survive? The Lost Heaven Circus. Ah, crazy! They're bunching up, and I see some collisions. Some of these drivers being tested. There's more of this paperwork. Nice. Are these wheels broke? Oh, yeah. Later, bro. Got three laps. Let's go. I got this. Eighth. Right. You asshole! Some rough racing out there. Hopefully, nothing serious. Ah, crap! Ah! Don't worry, folks. We have doctors nearby if there's any injuries. <laughs> of course. Dude, this is. McKellen is leading. Oh. More not far behind. Anyone could win. Ah, 
No longer a contender. The front three are jostling for position. Ah, oh, crap! What? Let's hope for a safe race today, folks. Hey, we'll get out of here, buddy. Up close and personal with the back leaders. Oh, this race is far from over. That was close. There we go. Right. This is bad. I'm so slow right now. Alright, it's all good. Anderson and Garcia are in second and third, waiting for a mistake for Angelo. No, 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 no. Mistakes here, bro. Car is good, so I should be good. Tommy Angelo's in first, but will he stay there? Oh, I plan on it, boy. Lichtenberg's exit really has blown this race out wide. They all Whoa. <laughs> Yo. Are these the final uh, podium places, uh, or is it someone else's? Jeez, you're oh. kidding me! I get out of the way, bro. This is mine. Oh, oh damn! Can he hold on? Newcomer Tommy Angelo is still out in front. Ready to show. Get out of here. Drivers are on the final lap. Not long till it's all over, folks. Who needs Mikey Dodd? This guy is a fine replacement. Hell yeah, bro. Greatest sweet man this mafia has ever seen. Hey. Later, bros. Catch you at the fucking finish today, line. Folks. The driving's been incredible. Of that. <laughs> Yo, that, that was nuts. Some drivers really starting to stretch out ahead now. All right, not making that mistake this time. So we'll try to. I'm a bit slow here. There we go. All right, smooth. Taylor, Anderson, Angelo, all still in the mix with time still left to go. Who's going to catch the leading driver, Tommy Angelo? Nobody, bro. This is it. This is mine. I'm number one, son. Won the race.